Welcome back family to the birthing room. We're gonna have a seat right here. And uh, let's just chat. This is uh, getting back to the place where we, we kind of did this before, where uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Let's be honest. I really don't know where I'm going with this. This is something that the Lord has told me to do. And um, each time I'm kind of like, okay, God, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to talk about? Um, how is this going to go? And I don't know. So let's see where this goes today. Um, maybe we can talk about vulnerability. That's something that God has been helping me with a lot is being vulnerable, being open, being um aware of his presence even in those moments um and i believe that as as believers and specifically as christian women then it's important that we learn how to embrace those moments that god gives to us so that we can really start to thrive and so that we can step into our purpose i believe that that's something that a lot of you desire to do you've said it before we've had uh you know, sessions where a lot of you mentioned that, you know, like, well, how do I step into my purpose? Or this is something I really want to do. I don't even know my purpose. And I believe a big piece of that can be found in our authenticity when we really allow the Lord to um, not only move through us, but when we allow ourselves to move in this place with God that uh, requires us to be vulnerable. And a lot of times that can look, um, of course, it's going to look different for each of us, depending on where we're at, depending on what it is that God has been, you know, wanting, um, uh, wanting us to step into or, or wanting us to trust him with. So let's kind of go there. What are some of the places God has been telling you to trust him with this? And, how scary that can be, you know, honestly, it can be scary when God tells you, I want you to trust me with um, your finances. I want you to trust me with your healing. I want you to trust me with your children. You know, these are areas that are really difficult because they hit close to home. And I believe that the more we learn how to step in a place of being vulnerable with God, that means being open, being honest, being sincere, being able to accept his, uh, it's funny, I'll say conviction, but really I'm thinking of God's critique. <laughs> As somebody else could say, well, God doesn't critique us. Well, he does in this way because this like um, person in, your day-to-day -day life, they may give you a critique on how you did something or how the approach could be different or, you know, so God will do that for us. He'll, he'll convict us, meaning he'll show us and gently guide us in these ways that saying, you know, this could be done a little bit differently. And when we're vulnerable, then we're open to hearing that we're open to receiving God's, uh, direction and how he wants us to be. So, you know, the question for you today is what areas has God been saying that you need to trust him in more? What areas has God been saying that he wants you to practice? And we say train, train it uh, being more open to him, train it being more available to his instruction. As women of God, we have a lot of different responsibilities. You know, we have the responsibilities to our husbands, to our children, to um, work or ministry. Uh, responsibilities, of course, to God is first, but all of that falls underneath the, the leadership of God. You know, so the responsibilities that we have of being a mother and a wife and a daughter, a sister, a friend, an aunt, um, and, and then we have the responsibility as well to ourselves to, um, accept the moments of correction, conviction, of growth, of even beginning to embrace the, where we're at right now and embrace trusting God. Um, 
you know, as we, as we grow, as we mature, as we find ourselves in different places and even in different roles in life. And if you've made it this far in the video, <laughs> praise the Lord, you're still here. Cause I, I'm, I'm still just like, Holy Spirit, speak through me. Okay. Um, but as we, you know, grow, as we change and we find ourselves in different roles, maybe you have found yourself in the role of a caretaker. Maybe you have found yourself in the role of having to be a provider right now, whatever way of that provision, you know, whether that's financially, whether it's providing more comfort and support to someone else. Um, maybe it is you are going into the transition of leaving a specific career and you're trying to find your role, you're trying to find your footing. This still all points back to us learning how to trust God and be vulnerable with him in those moments so that he can lead us fully, so that he can guide us completely. Because when we hold back from being open and honest and authentic with God, we're really um, holding back from accepting and receiving all that God wants to say, all that he wants to release in our lives, and all that he has created us to step into. So we're really holding our own selves back. So I want you to just kind of think about this today. Um, allow the Lord to minister to you more. And as you are listening to this message, some things may come to your mind. There may be some certain areas that you've recognized that God has been telling you that you need to be open and honest with. Like just as I'm recording this right now, this, I don't know why this is getting on my nerves. This piece of my hair is getting on my nerves. I'm seeing that in the corner shelf there in the background that's getting on my nerves. See all of these little things. And if I allowed it to stop me, then it stops me from just moving forward and what it is that God wants me to say right now, this very moment, not only for you, but for myself. So anyway, thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for tuning in to the birthing room. I pray that you continue to grow in the Lord, be authentic with the Lord, allow him to speak to you, trust him with those uh, sensitive areas in your heart. And I'll see y'all next time. Love you. Bye-bye.